Okay, this is quite a complicated question because we've got a fiddly scale. We've got um, a diagram which is uh, um, in meters, and we've got a centimeter grid. So first thing I'm going to do is convert all lengths uh, to centimeters. So I'm just going to go around and convert them all to centimeters. Okay, next thing I need to understand the scale. So the scale means one on the diagram is 600 in real life. So if I've got the real life one, all I need to do is divide it by 600 um, to get the uh, amount of centimeters on the diagram. Um, so I'm going to do that with each of the lengths. So I'm going to uh, divide by 100, so that gets rid of the two zeros, and then divide by 6, which is 7 uh, centimeters in real life. Oh, sorry, on the diagram. Uh, this one here, uh, get rid of the zeros, uh, divide by 6, which is 2. This one here, uh, divide by 100, uh, and then 24 divided by 6, uh, which is going to be 4. And this last one, 18 divided by 6, which is 3. Okay, so let's start drawing that on our centimeter grid. Now, when it says it's a centimeter grid, it means each one of the squares is one centimeter. Um, so I'm going to start off at the top left, and I'm going to go down three squares, and I'm going to go back to there and go across seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm going to go down two, and then left four. One, two, three, four. Now um, I'm missing this this next length, but if you think about it, we are currently here. And we want to go down and then directly across to get to here. So I'm going to be going down one square to make it line up perfectly. And then I'm going to go left three squares just so that I finish where I began. And that's it. Now make sure that it's accurate. Make sure that you have the uh, correct amount of squares. Sometimes you'll have half squares as well. So if it's, uh, it's three and a half centimeters, it will be... Uh, three whole squares and then another half, obviously, so you'll go halfway between the squares.